would you smash Carly here? She's not my type. I wouldn't hit her with a car. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about your Monday's freshers experience. Probably cheating on my boyfriend. In freshers week? In freshers. The first day. The first day! Ah! Ah! She belongs to the streets. <laughs> oh, this is all I got. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory before? No. No. Been there? No. It's in Phoenix. No, I've never been there. I have a golden ticket. So. <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> I am you guys can go. Save this for later. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Are you trying to go? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> she want me. She want me. Do you taste like mango? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah. I have a Oh, hell no. Spell the word for. F O R. Now spell the word ties. T I E S. Now put them together. Four ties. You're so dumb. <laughs> put four ties. Four t I don't get it. I don't get it. I slept with the boy she bring home. She belongs to the streets. You slept with her, man? Yeah. I took this boy uh, with me home and we were cuddling and stuff and then they fucked in front of me. And then. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And he was bleeding from his cock. What? It looked no. like a murder scene. Yeah, it was blood everywhere. Ever. It was blood everywhere. And the cleaning lady didn't come for like two days. So it was blood everywhere. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? How many world wars were there? Seven. Seven? Yes. What years? Uh, 1782, uh -huh. 1935, and 1822. Damn, she's valid. Smart. <laughs> Flash, a random dude coming up. Hey, bro, come here. Stand over there. Yes, sir. Three, two, one, go. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> How was that? 10 out of 10. Get her number. I got a girl, man. Oh, you do? Oh, shit, life. Would you do that again? Okay, ready, set, go. Sensational. How high would be too high of a body count for a girl to where you would think guys might reconsider getting married to them? Right? Where you're like, maybe guys would be like, that's a little too high. What, can we get a number? I think more than 20. More than 20? Yeah, I think more than 20. Like, about marriage, more than 20, yeah. What about you? I'd say like 100. Oh, hey, nice sources. Are you using that one? How about this one? How about these two? Mmm, these two look alright. How about I mix these two? Maybe I might take all three. Thank you. I thought that I had like a weird obsession with deep sex. And I thought it was because of my pain fetish. But then I went and saw a nurse and she told me I had a deep cervix. Oh, so you could just naturally take wood? <laughs> no, because it's about the motion and the positions that you're in. I'm gonna call you, gonna call you TW. <laughs> what for? Take wood. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny that a lot of you females won't date a guy who lives with his mom, but would instead date a guy who lives with his wife. You're goddamn right. Have you ever had a whole face before? Yeah, who hasn't? So, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. She belongs to the streets. A major one. Pros and cons. Pros? You like are literally just having the best time of your life because you're just, you feel like on top of the world, right? Like you're getting all the attention and like yeah. you're like, oh, like I can do this. Like yeah, I can get this I guy. Want. I can get this do guy. But want. then cons is like, <laughs> they don't actually like you for you. They are like, they won't take uh, you she's home. just like a good fuck. Like, let me yeah. just take her home. Like, you know, they don't actually want to date you. And like, then you're like lonely as fuck at the end of it. So would you recommend for young girls to have whole faces and experiment or? I would recommend that people experiment everything because you want to get like everything out of life. I wouldn't really say like that kind of face. I wouldn't say but, whole face, but, but experiment. you still want to know. Yeah. Okay. And there's I, only one way to find out if getting multiple dicks is a good thing or not by 
getting multiple dicks. dicks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not in that era anymore. Like, it's a hot girl summer, but it, it, it ain't a whole girl summer, you know? Exactly. Women who uh, sleep around, they're bipolar. If you sleep around with too many men, you have too many men's, like, women absorb energy, guys give energy. So when women sleep around with a whole bunch of guys, they have a whole bunch of different energies within them, and they become bipolar. If you sleep with too many men, M-E-N, you start having mental illness. <laughs> oh. What do you think of my kit? It's, it's eye-catching, isn't it? Do you reckon you would swap your ticket just to touch my bum? <laughs> uh, it'd have to be a hard no. Oh. Rejected. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> women. Man said women swim from Bangladesh to India to marry her boyfriend. Wow, if she really wants you, bro, she will do anything. Man survived the ocean. Do you remember the woman that got arrested for swimming from Bangladesh to India for her love? There is more to the story, Yajima. Before she started swimming, she had to go through a mangrove swamp. Don't know what that is, but it sounds dangerous. Then had to go through the Sunderbands, which has tigers in it. Bengal tigers. The more details that come out of this story, the more it becomes certain to me, Habibi. If they wanted to, they would. I've said it on another video on this channel. When a woman finds you attractive, sexy, you are her type. She's interested in you. She will move mountains to be with you. She will risk her own life to be with you because she wants to genuinely spend time with you. In this case, this woman swam 15 miles, risked her own life to be with this man that she met on Facebook. So gentlemen, when women tell you they haven't seen your phone calls, your messages, or she's busy, no, she's lying. Because if she's interested in you, trust me, she will move mountains and in this case, swim 15 miles risking her own life to be with you. What's the furthest that you would drive for a sneaky link? Oh, an hour. You got the foot on the gas. It's fire as fuck, uh, it's worth it. What's the furthest you have driven? For a sneaky link, 45 minutes. 45? Yeah. Was it worth it? Yes. <laughs> Women. <laughs> what would you want his income to be? I feel like this is gonna sound bad. I feel like like three hundred thousand. I would have to say one twenty-seven. Probably one fifty to a quarter of a million a year. Five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> is that bad? 150, maybe to 250,000 a year it would be comfortable for sure. I was just having this conversation with my friend and she was like, you have to manifest a husband, girl. Ideally, my husband needs to be making like 650,000. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't. So you said you want 500K, but what do you think the median income is for a 30 year old? 60K, 70K? It is $45,000. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I think it's 250,000. It's 52,000. What? No, it's not. <laughs> Damn, <000. laughs> America. 